Hello, Neil from Small Business Big Ideas here with another small business marketing tip. Um, it's day 29, so I'm nearly a third of the way through my uh, 101 marketing tips video challenge, which is a bit of a milestone. Today we are going to talk about a tip, um, which is from this list which I have come across from a website called thebalance.com in their small business section. It's an American website and that's probably why this tip covers um, advertising on your local cable TV station, um, which coming at it from a, a UK point of view is, is not something which I would have um, immediately uh, thought of as, as one of the top 10 or even 100 uh, things to do with your marketing budget. Um, if truth be told, the only other uh, exposure I've had previously to, to cable TV um, comes from the, the film Wayne's World, which um, probably gives you uh, an insight into my age and my life, really. Um, cable TV in the UK is obviously very different to cable TV in the USA, which I think it's, it's much more of an established thing. Uh, that said, there are um, local cable TV channels in the UK. Um, I'm sat here in, in Newcastle upon Tyne and there is a local cable TV channel here called uh, Made in Tyne and Weir, um, which is, uh, is recorded in, in the North East. Um, it's part of a network of, um, I think, seven or eight local channels which um, cover Birmingham, Leeds, Liverpool, that sort of thing. Uh, eight, eight major cities. And um, I've tried to do a little bit of digging. Um, their website and the advertising page didn't really give any, um, any great clues as to the, the sort of coverage or reach or, or demographics, which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping that I could get that. Um, and also it didn't give me any indication as to, to what the costs are, um, which is entirely my bad. I should have um, looked ahead to what I was doing and um, perhaps contacted them to get a media pack, but um, I didn't, so um, so there. And um, that leaves me to, to only draw, uh, draw my own conclusions from, from what I can see. So I had a quick look on um, Made in TV this morning just before recording it and um, I can see that basically the channel is a mixture of um, locally produced content they also have um, original sort of content which they share throughout the made in network of their their eight regions and then the bulk of the programming during the day is um, is borrowed from CBS Reality TV. Now, um, I think, I mean, I'm only looking at the daytime schedule, which is very much CBS Reality based. In 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 the sort of breakfast time and lunch time and evening slots, it's it's much more their their made in content. Um, but if you have a look at what they show through CBS Reality during the day, it's a lot of. Um, Judge Judy and um, Dog Patrol and I turned on to see uh, a program about Australian lifeguards called Bondi Rescue which I never previously knew there was such a thing so I've learned something today. Um, so if you are a marketer or you're a small business owner and you are considering advertising during their uh, their daytime viewing schedule, the first question to ask is, will my target audience be interested in uh, Judge Judy or Bondi Rescue or Dog Patrol? Um, if they are, which I suppose will be quite a niche group, will they seek out those program options through the local made in their region network? Uh, rather than just going to CBS Reality or one of the other channels which churn out that sort of junk every day. Um, because it's quite niche. I mean, I, I don't know a great deal about it and I, I do apologise for it, but um, I would imagine they will get more people viewing for the local content, local news stories, um, 
you know, local stories. They do seem to have, the, the, the website is quite good with lo quite a lot of sort of local, the sorts of stuff that you would, um, you would have in, um, in a local newspaper in, in days gone by. So, um, I'm not trying to belittle it or put it down in any way. I think it is the the TV equivalent of a uh, of a local newspaper. Um, TV advertising, obviously, in in uh, in this century, comes with its disadvantages in the fact that most people have um, some form of uh, digital recorder, which allows them to um, fast forward through the ads which is obviously a, a, a problem for, for advertisers, which has resulted in obviously the, um, the reduction in TV, TV advertising as a, a, as a powerful medium because everybody just flicks through it. Um, the one thing that obviously I think a local cable channel uh, will, the, an advantage to a small business will be the cost. It's likely to be um, much more affordable than um, going through a you know a, a traditional um, bigger broadcast network um, have a look what I am going to do is uh, I will request a media pack and um, I may well uh, do a separate video uh, when I get that information through uh, just with an update um, because I'm curious just to see the sort of figures in terms of reach that they're getting interested to know the demographics and also interested to see what the cost will be. So um, check it out. See if you know. Go down to um, the you know the uh, the um, sort of hundreds, hundred and fifty channels of your your TV because that's where they tend to be located. See if you've got a local TV channel. Have a look. Um, have a watch. See see what you make of it. Um, Again, it's another one of these that I think um, if I had a limited marketing budget, which I do, um, it's not something that would necessarily be top of my list, but um, depending on the actual channel and whether there's a fit with who your target buyers are, it may be worthy of investigation. Um, alternatively, you, you may just have a, a massive interest in Australian lifeguards, in which case, good luck to you. Um, so that's it for me today. Um, I will do an update when I've got the media pack, but I think that's all I can really say on uh, local cable advertising at the moment. Thanks. Bye.